Kick is now underway on one side with the fighter who does everything well, taking on a true grappler on the other side. It's gonna be interesting to see how long he can keep it up right. I mean, Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the octagon. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, he got absolutely bludgeoned. That's as good a combination as we have seen out of him here tonight. The last time I saw a combination this good, it was Donald Cerrone beating up on Rick Story. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. All right, side control now. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Choi. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Back to the stand-up now. Both fighters upright. All right, single collar tie now. Right hand punch to the clinch. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land from anywhere. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Try to establish that jab. Oh, man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position, got another beautiful takedown. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Choi. Close guard. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Nice one, two there. Well, missed on that one. There's no give on that leg kick. He gets to his spot, the tie clinch. Then he starts to let the knees fly. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Oh, that up is the hook. Good punch, Lance. Quick entry here. Nice single leg entry. Rotates ahead outside to a high punch. Oh. Nice big takedown. What a technique. What a takedown. Great high impact skill. You could feel the canvas reverberating here at the Broadway. I mean, right there. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> it's like me running anywhere, John. <laughs> right. Well, you got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Lands with the ground and pound here. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Nice punch, Lance. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Oh, beautiful overhand counter to the head. And again, easier to get inside when you've got such a pronounced reach advantage. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, strike attempt to the midsection, it's blocked. Good takedown. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by short. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. 
Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling could really be entertaining. Oh, Round two is next. Hey, stop. Let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. Ready to fight? Ready. Here we are, early round two. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. Just misses with a left hook there. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, beautiful takedown by him there as he lands another one. He's keeping the stat guys busy tonight. Huh? I mean, over and over, takedown attempt after takedown attempt, and the cardio. The cardio to wrestle that much is so impressive because his opponent is getting back to his feet, but he's got this ability to continue to chase takedowns. All right, close guard now. Got to be careful, though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. All oh, right to the mount. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape, or maybe he's looking for a Kimura here. Well, you know he's comfortable fighting off his back. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. The Korean Superboy gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. All right, watch out for the setup here. DC, I know you don't pay your bets, but I'll bet you 100 bucks he goes for another takedown here. <laughs> if I don't pay, then why are you betting me? I'll yell in the octagon and go, man, don't shoot so that I can get paid. But if I'm betting, I'm trying to take the over. I believe that he's going to get another takedown, so I was trying to force you into saying that he doesn't do it again or something. Right, we'll I don't see. know. We'll see. I'm not the gambling guy. You're the gambling guy. You can twist me up with your words. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. A top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. The Korean Super Bowl gets up. He is back on the feet here. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. And a strong outside leg kick there. He got him. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Straight punch land. Nice leg kick. Plus right hand is true. Just out of range with that right hand. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. The record is on repeat. Wash and rinse over and over again. It's takedown after takedown. Lands the grounded pound strike here. Got clip with the right hand. 
Oh, and he's back up again. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Lands with the kick there. No pat on that foot. No shit guard. He's taking all of that kick every time he throws it. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Big leg kick land. Big powerful punch land. Now we get back to range. Round three next. All right, so the round is over, but not before damage was done. Cut on the cheek, sustained in that round. Cut man in there quickly as usual to try to seal it up. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, Rip. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. All right, DC, here we go with our next round. It wasn't just the accuracy, it was the aggressiveness, the volume. It was unbelievable to watch him be so active. The cardio, the push, the pace, and the pressure that he fought with. It's going to be very interesting to see if he can maintain this over 15 minutes. I mean, he's cutting him down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Wild attempt with the right hand there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Right on the button. And that one is true. Nice job there to enter and ultimately plant his opponent on the mat. Now what does he do? That he's got his best shot off, finish the attack. Where does he go now from the top position? All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to hit. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. The Korean Superboy gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. And he landed the right hand there. Just misses with the jab. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. Oh, nice jab. Does that one appear to stun him? He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got it very bad. He got it. Three minutes. Oh! All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Choi. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well that if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Single collar tie now. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break him? Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. 
Oh, and there it is. One of the best back takers in the sport. Took his back there. Now we'll see what he can do. Now he's in imminent danger. Now he is in trouble because he will take his time. He will start to force him into making mistakes. He'll punch, punch, punch. The moment the guy starts worrying too much about the strikes, he will take his neck and try to find the submission victory. Gets up again here, but hurting. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Beautiful punch. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Well, no surprises. He connects once again, and that looked like a landing right on that. Right on the cut, and he's targeting it, right? He's looking. You can see him almost putting a laser beat on that cut and just putting his hands on it. It doesn't take much. He just keep making it split, showing his opponent that he has no mercy. Big knee lands. Oh, he gets the takedown late in the round here. That's a way to leave an impression on the judges. And big picture, I think, could set him up for future success in the match. the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. All right, so next round underway here, and you gotta admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Beautiful strike. Some nice back and forth action here. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Now he's got the Muay Thai plum. Right, he engages in the single collar tie, and they separate. Nice punch by Chore. Just missed with the left there. Oh, blocks the shot. Nice job to raise the guard and block another strike there. He doesn't want the ringside position anywhere near this octagon. He has to understand that at any moment, if this thing goes down into the eye, the referee and the commission will have to stop the fight. Great job being aware, keeping the hands up. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. Nice hammer fists. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman, just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter, and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Oh, collar tie. Oh! He's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Closed guard. Close the right hand there. Oh, 
nice combination of strikes here from the top, standing over his opponent. Not unlike Muhammad Ali over Sonny Liston. Oh, that is a good reference. If you're standing and your opponent's on the ground, you're doing really good work. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Under two minutes now to go. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Continuing to work out of the half guard. All right, so maybe he goes for another takedown here, and it's the set of, oh, he's broke. He's hurt bad. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find it's home. Big punch land. Ooh. Oh! Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Wow! And just like that, the fight is over. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Pinpoint strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. Well, hard to perform much better than he did tonight. A huge knockout under the lights. They'll be talking about that one for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called to stop this contest at 3 minutes, 48 seconds of round number 4. Declaring the winner by... Oh!